Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of Valentine's value lesson, uh, working with value. And uh, in part one, I, I demonstrated how to go about uh, getting your project set up with layers of hearts. I like to call it layers of love. Um, but I did make a mistake, so I want to correct that now before we go any farther. We're supposed to have four progressively smaller hearts inside this big heart. In my first video, I only did three. So I had, if I cover this one up here, I had a one, two, three. There's supposed to be a fourth, a small one. So um, right before I started the video, I made a, a tiny heart. I traced it here. I traced it over there. And I'm gonna need it one more time right here. Um, I could put it up against the border there if I want. Don't want to, do, we don't want overlapping. Um, we don't want to cross any lines, but I could put it right on the border like it did here, but instead I think I'll move it towards the middle of this larger, the larger heart. And I'm gonna trace it out. Okay, done. All right, so that's where our darkest value is gonna go. And let's get this thing done, let's start it. So here's what happens. Um, I'm going to, oh, sharp pencil, sharp, 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 always sharp, sharp. I love a good sharp pencil. Um, I'm going to color this first heart in with uh, a dark, heavy value of this red. It's actually, I think it's mahogany. Yeah, it's mahogany out of my Crayola 36 color pencil set. You can use any color you want. Um, you know, it doesn't even have to be red. It's up to you. Uh, however, don't try to color your project in with a very light color, like one of the brighter oranges or yellow. It's just tricky to do work with value in those colors. You can certainly do it, but the value is a little more dramatic with the darker colors and it does make it easier for you when you're practicing value. So there's one. Let's get these other two colored in and we'll move on. Okay, there's number two. Um, you should be pressing as hard as your pencil will go. Do you want the darkest, deepest value your pencil will make in these smaller hearts? Okay, there's three done. Here we go. Now, oh, sharpen this bad boy. Now it's time for some value. This is what we do. This is what we're going to do. For the next layer, we're going to go with a medium value all throughout this the, the next largest heart. What that means is with my sharp pencil here, I'm going to color this in using uh, more or less the side of the pencil with a medium value. Medium is halfway between uh, the darkest value that your pencil will make and the white highlight of the paper or the lightest, very lightest value. So I'm going to guesstimate about a medium value here. Okay, now um, for, the, for the rest of this the shape, what I want to do is I want it to fade. I want to, I want to transition from shadow, deep shadow, um, fading out to the medium value that I already colored it in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, press very hard on the edge here and then I'm immediately going to start letting the pressure off my pencil and blend it out. I'm just going to let it fade into that medium value. Okay, you don't want to overwork this. Once you have something that looks pretty good, you have an even transition, not a dark stripe and then it just jumps to medium. We don't want to do that. We want to blend it out. So with less, much less pressure on my pencil, I'm going to blend it out, right? So this, the darkest value should be this, as dark as your pencil will go. And there should be, we should see, even though it's a small area, we should see a transition to, uh, to the medium value range that we first colored it in with. Okay, so that's layer two. Layer three, starts out on the edge. I'm not gonna color anything in yet. This is going to be a light value. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to press very hard on the edge and I'm going to immediately start letting the pressure off my pencil as I work towards this heart edge here. Letting the pressure off, I'm gonna let it fade out. I'm gonna stop at a, at a light value, very light value there. 
So we have, an, again, key phrase is even transition. There's a fade from very dark all the way through the value range, even though it's a tiny little area there, all the way through the value range to this light value. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the rest of this, and then we'll move on. All right, there it is. So what we're seeing here is very dark, heavy value, small heart. Next layer, medium. This layer, we're moving into the lighter value range, but we still have a full range of value from edge to edge here, right? From border to border. Now for the next layer, I'm going to, this is gonna be, this is the same process, same thing, same process. Let's start by outlining this really heavy, a nice hard outline there. However, this time I'm going to let this fade into white highlight. So my darkest value is as heavy as that pencil will go. Building it up in layers is usually the best way to get good value. If you try to go really heavy right away and then fade it out, sometimes it makes it harder for whatever reason. It tends to be a little trickier. If I build it up in layers, I don't know if you noticed, but here I went back and just like I'm doing right now, I made my darkest value and I'm fading it out again. I don't want a jump in value. We're looking for a, a transition and even fade. So this layer, this heart layer, will then fade to a white highlight. Somewhere towards the border here, we should see a white highlight. So we got a full value range, full value range in this tiny little area here, this little strip of my curve of my heart here. There's a full value range all the way from uh, deep dark shadow, or as, as heavy as this pencil will go, through the whole range of value all the way to a white highlight uh, right next to the edge. Okay, so that's the way this is done. Let's get this thing colored in. All right. Looking good, it kind of gives it some depth with the darkest value here, uh, medium, lighter, and then we get some white highlight here. So this, these four hearts um, are the way you wanna go about it. And we just repeat that for the other sections, this section, this section, and then over here, we have, um, we're actually I'm missing my little heart. I need a little section there. So there's my four shapes. One, two, three, four shapes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this would be my, my heavy dark one. This is medium. This is light. This is going to be some white highlight in there after I fade it out towards a white highlight. So we want to repeat that all around. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, the, the, the areas, the negative space, in other words, the areas where there's no hearts traced, uh, we do the same thing we do in this layer right here, the big, the biggest heart layer. So in other words, I'm going to put down, let me outline this heavy. This would go all the way around what I'm about to do. Um, I want to, I'm not going to press too hard right away because I want to go back and layer it a little bit. So I'm going to drag it out, drag it out, let it fade, drag it out. Drag it out. I'm going to go back now and darken it. I want some really dark. The more extreme range value you have, the more drama your artwork takes on. Value range, the more extreme range means it equals contrast. Contrast equals visual interest. So I'm going to fade it out there and let that fade to a white highlight. I can. Color pencils don't erase very well, but they are great for touching up and getting some highlights in there if you feel like you need to do that. Right around my edge here, I think I'm gonna to try to whiten out a highlight. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but I like that. It looks a little better, a little bit, it's the little things. 
So that's what happens, guys. If you can picture this whole thing, uh, colored in just like this, um, four layers of hearts here, here, and here, and then the edge all the way around, we want to work it, take the time. It's all about the patience. 90% of creating great art is, in fact, patience. So we won't, we don't want this scribbly and quick and quick looking. Um, scribbly equals rushed. Uh, you want some nice, try to uh, get rid of as many of your pencil, as much of your pencil strokes as you can using this side or uh, on an angle of a very sharp pencil it helps a lot with that. I like a little tail, a little thing here on my heart. I'm gonna throw that in there, why not? And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, layers of love, Valentine's Day value lesson. Thanks a lot.